Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep here and today we are gonna see a new deck with, the, with our uh, Blair Flanagan right here so we are trying to uh, bring together a Maiden deck, so a pure Maiden deck of course we only have, um, I don't know if 3 or 4, I'm not sure, 3 or 4 cards that are related to the Maiden archetype um, in the truth I really don't know if there are any cards that we don't really uh, have the chance to get um, so uh, I've just tried to make this um, you know for fun it's not competitive at all uh, but I think it's a viable one if you want to enjoy maybe the character with the hairline uh, with hairlines and of course air favorite cards uh, you're on the right video so let's move on to the deck list but let's start as always from the skill that I've chosen it's the new one it's happily happily hever after for a whole who do not know what it does it's pretty easy if you control exactly one maiden in love that you are the original owner of and one monster that your opponent is the original owner of you can keep one happy marriage from your deck to maiden in love what happy marriage does uh, just uh, increase the attack of your of maidenly love in this case or, or the monster you just keep the spell cards to um, of in, of the attack uh, of the monster that you're not the owner of so uh, pretty easy so this is uh, pretty good if you take control of a monster that has for example 2000 or 3000 higher and um, this will make Maiden have a really huge attack so that you can uh, swing into your opponent monster if he has any or go for lethal. So guys, before going into the deck list, uh, I just want to remember you that if you, if you want to support me, uh, remember just to uh, subscribe, leave a like if you enjoy this content. I really appreciate it and it helps me a lot. Don't forget also uh, the bell so, so that you know every time I'm going to make a new video about a new deck. So this is the deck list and let's start from the monsters. We have of course our maiden in love, what she does. Uh, in attack position she cannot be destroyed by battle and also after damage calculation if this card is attacked. So it does not count if you attack, she needs to be attacked. Uh, you can place one maiden counter on the monster that attack this card. So pretty easy then we have as monsters the magician girl engine so we have berry magician girl uh, pretty bust it's a pretty solid monster because it has a pretty defense um, I'm talking about of course the effect because the stats are not that good you only has 400 attack and defense but on summon you're gonna search for another magician girl that can be another berry or another or an apple for example and also when she is targeted uh, by an effect or targeted by an attack you can change this card battle position so of course into defense and you can special summon another magician girl from your deck so of course the only choice we have in this deck list is apple magician girl so pretty good of course he helps you um, uh, helps you defend from the attack of your opponent and also thinning the deck um, and special summoning monster then we have apple magician girl that will be the surprise monster that we will use to make our opponents attack our maiden how because apple magician girl when he's targeted as an um, uh, when he's targeted for an attack you can activate her effect to special summon a level 5 or lower spellcaster from your hand. In, the, in this case, Made in Love is perfect because if it's a level 2 spellcaster. You can special summon, of course, this spellcaster and make that the target of the attack. And also, the monster that's attacking has his attack halved. So, pretty good. And of course, we're gonna take less damage and more and moreover our made in love is not gonna be destroyed because of her effect so it's a pretty good combo uh, if you manage to pull it out it's not that difficult what is difficult uh, instead is that once that you have achieved to put a maiden counter on your uh, opponent's monster you need to have this cupid's kiss that you have to equip to a monster that has to attack 
the monster that has a made encounter. So it's, uh, you know, a little bit tough just to make the whole thing happen. But, and just because of the fact that this whole thing is really, really huge, we have other cards that just simplify the mechanism uh, of stealing your opponent's monster. And how? What, what are these cards? These cards are the incredibly busted and chosen one what it does if your opponent has two or more monsters on his field he's he just has to choose one of them to protect and you can choose one of the others that remains to destroy and then special summon him back onto your field so you're gonna have a monster on your field that you're not the original owner of so pretty good of course this card has a bad side and the bad side is that you cannot conduct your battle phase in that turn. But, whatever, the, we can say that the battle phase is not a priority in this deck. Also, we have another busted card, Head Judging. What it does, um, you can choose to activate this card and mm, when uh, an opponent's monster on the field activates its effect, so the, mm, you have to toss a coin and your opponent has to guess. If your opponent guesses it, uh, to call it right, um, this card goes to the graveyard, but if he calls it wrong, the monster effect is negated and the monsters change contro control, so you're gonna be the owner of that monster. Pretty busted, of course, if we play three of that, it's a free-to-play card um, uh, as the unchosen one as well as the unchosen one, so uh, all free-to-play card, and also we have the Forever Green Enemy Controller, it's always a good card to um, have a monster that you're not the owner of just for one turn. And then we have a couple of FP Marriott just to increase our Maiden in Love attack. So guys, this is the whole thing, I managed to bring out the combo a couple of times as you will see in the replays um, in the replays maybe you can see some some cards that are not in the deck list right now because this is the final version of the deck list so um, I went through a lot of duels uh, just to you know um, put together the the best cards the best combos I at the beginning start with the lemon magician then I realized that apple magician was was just uh, better then guys this is the decklist I hope you have fun with this and I hope you have enjoyed all the explanation feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below and as always enjoy the replays